What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the team. Fish Knuckles U channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and we're going over a wheezing uh, toolbox stack. Now, if you read the title, um, I won a team challenge with this. Uh, I seriously advocate for team challenges. It's so much fun. Um, it, uh, you have to play in your state now, which is the only like difference. But um, I don't know, especially for me, because I'm new to my state, uh, being able to play against new players, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Um, and this is actually my real account. I don't have a lot of cards in my real account. So like I didn't have a lot of options and Weezing was like one of the cheapest options. Um, uh, I've always had Drizzles and Teleons, so we're good to go on that. But as you see, everything is just pretty easy. Uh, this list is actually Urtzub. I am not sure how to say that name correctly. Um, they played it and I, let me see what they went. Let's see. I'm not sure if they won. I don't think they won. Let's see if I can find out real quick. Uh, oh, they did. Yeah, they got first place. Yeah, yeah. First out of 296. Congratulations. Yeah, very nice. Um, I was, like, pretty sure I want to play this deck because, like I said, I did, I don't have VMAXs on this account. So, you're going to just had to put something together. And I was expecting a lot of Mews and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure this is a really good Mew matchup. Uh, the only thing I didn't really know about was, like, Jolteon. But even then, I think it's fine. Um... Yeah, I think it's fine. So, I mean, Weezing, good. Neutralizing guys going to shut down abilities, except for neutralized guys, right? Your opponent's Pokemon have no ability except for neutralizing guys. Severe poison, right? We'll start putting poison damage. We're going to slow them down while doing four damage counters between turns, right? We have this Atelion line, so we can use our Atelion. They can't use theirs, which is a big deal, right? So we shut down, like, Genesex. We shut down the Atelion, stuff like that. Uh, 4 4 4 2 one Atelion line, really, really strong. Um... We have uh, Coco. Coco's like MVP. Be able to like send up Coco because that free retreat is like really, really good. And outside of that, your attackers are going to be two Galarian Moltres. Galarian Moltres is really good because it has that charge ability. That's two energy from your hand to the Pokemon. Fury Wrath can like do so much damage, right? They take in four price cards, you do a 220 plus like all the poison damage you racked up is really, really good. Uh, Zigzagoon is good for the ping damage, stuff like that. Uh, Hoopa is just a really solid, solid attacker for 90 damage, right? You're just doing 90 damage. You can free retreat the Coco, send up Hoopa, punch it in the face, especially after, once again, severe poisoning. Uh, and then Sableye V is in here for that crazy claws attack, right? Does 16 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it's this really dark toolboxy deck. It's really, really good. Um, there's a lot of... I, there's three videos that we're going to watch today of me playing the deck. Energy search can search for dark energies, which is really nice. The Drizzle. Uh, evolution instance to find your drizzles and your wheezing uh four level ball to find your basic with 90 hp or less or your drizzles because they have 90 hp quick ball to find your basics three scoop of net to pick up a pokemon you can reuse the drizzle and telling line uh training core it's really nice because like with training core in dark energies you can like power up your charge ability really nice and pretty much come out of nowhere which is really cool <clears throat> avery's a good card because you can put your opponents uh bench down to five to three and then you draw three cards as well. Two boss order. You really aren't bossing too much. You're pretty much just like taking knockouts. Um, Clara is like probably the best order card in this deck. Uh, put two Pokemon you're just into your hand and two basic energies, which means like, hey, if Moltres gets knocked out, let's pick up Moltres, two dark energies. Then you get training card for another dark energy and like sw swing, which is pretty cool. Uh, Marnie for disruption. Research only two because you don't really discard too many cards. Raihan. Uh, this is how you go power your save by V's out of nowhere, which is really cool. Because, like, <clears throat> if you go for, like, this Inteleon, like, the Shady Dealings, you can Shady Dealings, like, a Raihan and a Quick Ball, and then all of a sudden you got a save by V out of nowhere. And save by V, like, Crazy Claws, as long as there's, like, five damage counters, maybe four, uh, 6, 12, 18, 24, 25, 29, no. So at least five, you're one-shotting anything in the game if there's five damage counters, which is, like, a turn of going to Severe Poison and back to you, which is really, really cool. Uh, floats, uh, one air balloon. Like I said, the big thing is Coco. Coco's got that free retreat. Like, turn one, get the Coco down. It's so strong. And seven dark energy. I think this is, like, a really staple. Like, seven is a really, really staple now in dark decks. Uh, but yeah, there's the deck. Uh, nothing too crazy about it, right? It's just, like, some basic attackers and stuff like that. I think at one point, these used to play, like, Moltres V and, like, multiple save by Vs. But the cool thing with this deck is you, like, can go save by V, right? do a ton of damage and then once they knock out the save life plus like wheezing right that's three price cards you do it 170 with this wrath attack and if they're taking five price cards which they, they do a lot you can make it where they take five price cards then like this is doing 270 right and then plus with telling pings you do 290 310 uh so you're pretty much knocking out anybody at that point right 
So a really good deck, really strong. Um, like I said, I was expecting a bunch of Mew. Spoiler alert, we did play a single Mew. Um, I think the first game is the most interesting um, because it is a mirror, and after that is Rayquaza, then after that is Gengar. So, yeah, there we go. But hope we enjoyed the video. Let's watch it, and that's me commentating, of course, while during the team challenge. So I'm sometimes it might be quiet because I'm thinking. Uh, but yeah, now we're part of the Third Eye Games and Hobbies in Maryland. So if you play in Maryland, and if you're in Maryland, go play Third Eye Games and Hobbies, and maybe we'll be on the same team. Yeah. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and let's see the deck in action. Alright guys, so let's go team challenge. See what happens. It's a mirror. It's actually a mirror. Not 100% a mirror, but it's pretty much a mirror. Very interesting. <clears throat> okay. Pretty good turn one. Um... <laughs> yeah, there they are. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, so we'll see how this works. They do have the hiding energy, so they can like free retreat their um, wheezing and stuff like that. So it's kind of annoying. Ah, and the turn one Gallarmine is pretty good too. Okay. Um, well, I guess we have to, unfortunately, scoop up net the Coco, because we can't retreat it right now. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and scoop up net the Coco. Send in the Weezing, put this down. Quick ball the... Hmm. <sighs> Let's do this. I think we'll just go ahead and grab another coughing. But not coughing in research. We can put down Sobble, but it's kind of a pain for us. So right now, I'm just going to Ascension to find the Weezing. The problem with this play a little bit is if they have their own Weezing, um, they could start poisoning us first. Yeah, that's what I'm scared of. Um, they don't play net in their list, so that is one good thing about our list. Alright, another Moltres V, Marnie, okay. Nothing grab with Clara right now. So we can wheezing, poison. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so we're both poisoning here. Like I said, they have their free tree with the hiding. Hand is not the greatest. I'm just going to thin it. Grab an Italian. <clears throat> and like I said, they can retreat this now. So that's the big thing here. Um, they can't use Zigzagoon to do additional damage, so that's nice. But if we don't retreat this turn, then this thing gets knocked out. Okay. <laughs> Quick ball switch. Stable IV, okay. Marnie, let's go. All right, very nice. Sawball scoop. So we got the scoop of net and the. Okay, this is actually a really, really good hand now. So dark to coughing. Severe poison. Alright. So on our turn, we will do this. Scoop up net this. Send this up. Put this down. Uh, we'll play the training court. Attach per turn. Play the training court so we can energy search if we need to. We'll play another Marnie. 
We have Avery next turn, which could be really good. Uh, I'm going to energy search for the dark energy and then just discard it. All right, so let's see. Do they have their own wheezing or not? That could be a big deal. So there's the wheezing. So they can retreat to, we uh, to wheezing and start severe poison with that one. Now, at this point, we don't want to go um, for Avery because then they'll just bump this. What we really need to top deck is a boss sword. If we can boss sword up the Sableye and poison that, that would be really cool. So we see a severe poison from him. Okay. Once again, they don't play scoop up nets. So we're just going to severe poison here. I don't want to drop the saw, but just in case we can go for Moltres. We have the Claire in hand too, so we can find another Weezing if this one does get knocked out. So that's really cool. Another coughing hits the field. Okay. Hiding to the coughing. Another severe poison. So this gets knocked out. So the first knockout comes down. Uh, we're going to set up Coco here. So they can use Moltres. It's the only really ability they gain here. Okay. Will this get knocked out? That's the real question. Now, the only downfall with Sino Coco, if he plays into the Galar Mine, he does play three of them. He plays three Weezing. Played one so far. So there's a switch to coughing. So he doesn't 100% have it right now. So we'll see. Does he find it? I mean, he's got three evolution instants if he does have it in the deck. So there's that. Does he have the wheezing in deck? I mean, either way, he's got free retreat, which is really good. So there's the wheezing. There's the severe poison, okay. So we get training core for dark energy. Lovable. Hmm. Man. Yeah, let's go ahead and another coughing. Let's do this. This. Retreat. 
Ascension. Okay. Yep. All right, so once again, he gets the first poison down. This can take a couple of knockouts, which is good. Because this could knock out, like, both the Weezings if we have to. So, treat into Sableye, actually, okay? So, we're going to start going for Crazy Call plays. Alright, so it goes down to four. So, we'll send up Coco. We go Raihan here to find this. We attach per turn, put down this. Yeah, we'll grab a ball sorter for next turn. We'll retreat to here and Fury Wrath for 120. <laughs> next turn, we can like. Italian ping this, knockout. Now, if he powers on Moltres, that's where things get scary. So there's a dark energy. He does play three energy, or two energy switch. And, oh, he's played one so far, so there's one left in the deck. There's a Marnie. Oh, I'll get rid of my Italian and my boss order. Okay. <sighs> Very nice. It's a good play. Dire Flame Wings. Okay. So I'm going to clear here, retreat, send up coughing, and take a knockout. This can maybe take a knockout. Five, four, one, two. Yeah, I mean, he can take a knockout with this next turn, okay. So we clear Oh, I should have retreated it first. Oh, no. Uh-oh. A little misplay on my part. Go down to five. Dark energy. Now, did they send up this? Sends up this guy. Okay.
which was fine with me because it buys me more turns. Well, I mean, this has free retreat regardless because that's the hiding energy. Oh, both my Raihans are gone too. Uh oh. Etern Eternatus comes down. Okay. Okay. Yep. This takes a knockout, goes into three. So let's do this to here. Oh, what a good, that's a good draw right there. I don't know how we win, though. Five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. If he ta if he swings with this, he gets knocked out. I have no revolution instance. That's upsetting. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so if he swings with this, he gets knocked out. I gotta knock this out, which I think I can next turn with a Hoopa play. If he swings with this. Now, he hasn't played both energy switches. So can they find the, enough, some more energy switches? I can't believe I'm out of evolution instance. If I had an evolution instance, we could like ping, boss, this, knock out. <clears throat> so there is that. Okay. This is also a good play. It's not both my Claire's too. How many switches are there down? Three switch. There's a hiding. And an E switch to this. Crobat for four. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, can we find... I probably should have played this to find the other Inteleon. Oh, it's not a two. Okay, so we still have a chance. I should I didn't I don't know why I didn't grab a Jazeel. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, let's see what we got. We do have one boss that left our deck. If he Marnies us, there's a chance that we do really hit into it. Sinus so Zigzagoon is really good here because, like, we have the free cheat Coco, so we can tap with Hoopa or Moltres next turn. How many Marnies have they played? Three Marnie. They do play four. Okay. I mean, this guy's doing like 220 right now. Mm-hmm. So he has to set up wheezing this turn. If he attacks with Moltres, we win. Like ninety nine percent sure. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Two price cards left. Yep. Booyah! We did it! Okay, we won our first round. Two more rounds to go. Let's go! All right, beat the mirror. <laughs> I mean, the big difference was um, they had a ton of, like, you know, Vs and stuff like that. M multiple price pick one. We only have to say bye. All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's go to game number two. Let's see what happens. Rayquaza V Max. All right. So we lost the coin flip. Um, we're gonna go first because they want to go turn one Bolton. That's why. <clears throat> Our hand. Holy cow. No, don't you do that. I probably should have quick ball away. I quick ball the wrong card away. I should have quick ball the quick ball. Oh, well. Live and learn. Yeah, I should have quick ball away the quick ball. And then I could have... Well, what did I discard? I discard a love ball, then I could have got another love ball. Yeah, that, that was a little misplay on my part. Sorry. Quick ball, quick ball, triple level ball, and then I like level ball once, get another sobble, and then good to go. So, uh, my plan right now is to go Weezing, 
and Marnie them. What? Siri, don't talk to me right now. I'm playing Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, this is definitely like a like a re probably a really good matchup for us. I I feel like. So we'll see. The other deck in the tournament is so there's only four players. So I'm one. We played against one. Playing against third one, and then the last one's King Guard uh, Houndoom. So I feel like this is a okay call. Um, I was expecting a lot more Mew because the first team challenge I played, we played against a bunch of Mews. And we lost to one, and so we got second place. So there's Bolton, Crobat, Rayquaza. Okay, they do play one switch, three balloon. So then Rayquaza comes down. Energy search for this. Now, do they have the air balloon right now? That's the question. An air balloon or switch? They do have a Crobat, so Crobat can maybe net them some cards. So they milled that Poke Gear just to thin their deck, I imagine. Yep. Or thin their hand, sorry, not their deck. So I imagine they have the lightning in hand. Right? Crobat for two. So did they not have the energy? The lightning, so we're gonna see a dragon pulse for 40. All right, did they play as a well? They had adventure discovery, so yeah, we're still gonna do this. Yep, do this, play this for this. Put this down. Uh, whatever. Just quick wipe. I need another coughing, unfortunately. So grab another coughing. Yeah, that that turn one was really bad for me, unfortunately. We could do this for this. I'm gonna find myself the Coco. Do I want to give him access to training court? I'm going to discard the Zigzagoon. Coco. We'll do this. Severe poison. All right. And then maybe one more Sobble, then we have like a really good setup. So here comes their Rayquaza VMAX. Um, so he can take a knockout. If he's, if he's got a fire energy. Now he can't use any of his like abilities and like Crobats and he can't use Crobat right now unless he has boss order. So there's a fire energy. Very nice. Now, if he has boss order, he still go for a boss order play if he wants to. So he doesn't go for the boss play on the Drazeal. Use Crobat. Okay. Another Rayquaza. Stormy Mountain. Bonza Fly. Uh, Marie. Okay. So I'm going to go. Co send up Coco, Training Court Marnie, 
and tell well, telling on two. And just start picking this one. This card's a lightning. That makes sense. Lightning is easier to find. So. So we go, oh, what a good top deck too. Put this down. Put this down. We'll play this. We'll Marnie. We'll ping here. Scoop of net the hurt wheezing. Put it down. Put this down. Attach for turn. Retreat. Severe poison. Okay. Because he has attached two, which he can't. So there's a fire. Int okay, so. Okay. Fire there. Does he have another boss order? He does play three. Quick ball, way of lightning. There's a bolt in V. So four lightnings, they play 11. No energy recovery, besides Rose. Rose can get him energy back. Rose is very scary too. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's see, 510. We'll go for Sable here. Okay. Okay. So he has to play another rose here. Rose only gets two. Yeah, that's enough for knockout. There's the rose, okay. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. Uh, 
I just don't need him a counter stadium. <laughs> okay, let's go. We should maybe be okay now. Was that a two? I go for Raihan here. So let's see, 5, 10, 50, 20. No, I have to go for. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 2, 20. Yeah, so I'll have to research here and hope I find a dark energy. All right, so that's game. Yeah, he doesn't play any way to heal. And we just ping with one of the Italians. Let's go! <laughs> Alright, very nice. It's a little, my hands are getting a little sweaty there. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a little sweaty. Yeah, he has no way of healing. Well, Crystal can heal. Oh, wait. Hold on. He finds the one of Crystal Cave he can heal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He finds a one of Crystal Cave. He can heal. Did he, oh, he already discarded. Okay, perfect. We're good. Yeah. Yeah, I like the one of Crystal Cave can make the math kind of weird. We might still have a chance to win even if we did that. Uh, maybe? I don't know. <clears throat> well, we could attack with, like, Weezing under this or something. So... Yeah, he only plays one Crystal Cave. So, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Whew. Okay, double rows. Yep. He has 20 HP left, so like, and I've scoop enough to break the boss order out if I need to. I scoop up a Teleon, but like, he only has 20 HP left, so. Okay. Not sure what my opponent is doing. <laughs> okay. 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 Sure. That doesn't heal, right? Nope. Okay. All right. Okay. There we go. All right. So one more game left. We shall see what happens.
Let's see if we go three with our Weezing deck. All right, guys. All right, into round number three. Pony gets a Gengar VMAX deck. So. Okay, opponent's gonna go first. And. Hmm. We could lose. We'll see. Go out there, buddy. Okay. I mean, if we find a dark energy, we can keep calling. But I mean, the point of this game is also just knock out two Gengar Remaxes. Unless they start attacking with Houndoom. That could be a thing they could do too. Okay, Houndor. Uh, hiding energy. Tower of Darkness. Okay, I've just seen the stadium counts. Okay. If I can find Scoop of Net Dark Energy, we have to turn one. Oh, this hand is like uh, kind of interesting. Houndoom, energy, Gengar starts swinging, and I'm scared. That's all they need. Let's see what they got here. They could often just, like, attack with, like, the baby Gengar. Like, it does take a knockout with Dark Slumber. But we'll see if they opt to do that or not. Alright, they got the single strike roar, so that they can dark slumber for knockout. They want to do that. We'll see if they do that or not, or if they like keep going. The game plan with this one is just like last game. Like try to go for a CYV into Moltres play. So Cram. There we go. Can find boss order and knock out that coughing. They do only play two. No pal pad either. They're playing the VIP pass cram package. See what this cram gets him. Well, I guess we can't tell. Crowbat for four. Okay. Keep digging. They play three urn, which is interesting too. The hound door. Maybe I could have played maybe the energy search. Uh oh, that's not good. Maybe they could take a knockout next turn with a uh, pain explosion. So instead of coughing. Okay. So we do this to this. We could do this. Drazeal. Put down the Drazeal. Yep. I, I always like grabbing this. Define this. Okay. 
We'll do this for the wheezing. We'll do this for another Drazeal. Yep. So we have Sableye and Moltres in there. Perfect. I'm going to grab an Evolution Incense. We'll training court into severe poison. I'm curious to see what they do here. Like, do they go for the V Max? Or do they just knock me out with Gengar V? The Gengar. So they're going to go for this. Okay. I think this is actually probably the better play. So set up Coco. We go Hoopa. Dark. So that takes a knockout. We'll go ahead to training court. Wow. I was surprised. Huh, so I guess we're to go for, let's see here real quick. So we go, is that clear? So we can do this for Dark Energy, play Inteleon, yeah. We go Quick Ball. And ball sorter. I'm a quick ball away the Marnie for Moltres. I should have discarded a Claire. I should have discarded Dark Energy so I can Claire. Whoops. We'll grab this. And probably this. We'll go Inteleon, we'll go Moltres, we'll quick shoot here, we'll retreat, Soul Gate for Knockout, there's Clara, Air Balloon, <laughs> Dingo Strike Aurora did this. Yeah, as he does more damage to himself, Moltres gets stronger. And we take the knockout, we do 170 right now. And with the ping, that's a like we already take a knockout now. Which is why I went for this play. And if he were to like saw like get ready on the bench with it, well I guess we hypothetically can take a knockout regardless, because we don't have a dark energy. Hmm. So Another single strike roar. So I mean, they can like most likely take a knockout this turn. Yep.
They have not played a single peak yet. And they do play four of those. All right, there we go. Like I said, right now we're taking a knockout with Moltres. Now he does only play three Gengars. There's an urn. Okay. Got to dig for that energy. There it is. Gengar VMAX himself. So right now, GMAX Swallop is the one he has to do. Oh, and a Marnie. Very nice. I'm fine with that. I'm actually really okay with this. Because, like, if he takes a knockout, then we can go for a save IV play. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this is really good. Scoop up net this. Go about it that way. Yeah. Okay. 290. Yeah, Crazy Claws does like a million damage right now. So let's scoop up net this. And put this down. Yep. I'm pretty sure it's in the deck. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll do this for this. For save line. Put down save line. Raihan. We'll grab a scoop of net for next turn. Attach it dark. Put this down. So it does. Yeah, 370. So I'm going to ping this here. Okay. There's Quick Ball. Italian, coughing, and the most he can do this turn is maybe go for 190, which does knock me out, but then Moltres takes a knockout. Because it only takes two price cards, then Moltres does like 260, or 270, sorry. <clears throat> you can almost like one shot at VMAX, because like with the pings as well, too. Looking really good for us. To go 3-0 with our wheezing duck. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's 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 interesting to play. There's a lot of different plays you can do with the duck. Okay, there's a Marnie. Gets rid of my Raihan, but I don't think there's a way to get to win the game. They need a lot of stuff here. Dig a knockout, just in general. Okay. And they're gonna do damage to themselves too. And I got train of course. So like we have so many outs right now. Alright. Hiding. Like, oh, your opponent's actual book one's now asleep. All right. I think we still do this. Play two switch.
Um, yeah, I think this is fine. I'm still sleeping. Just sneezing. Just waiting my turn. How many VMAXs are down? Just one, okay. They haven't played a single switch yet, so there's an urn, okay. I mean, I think we still just watch out the VMAX there, right? It's, it has a lot of damage on it. Yeah, we did 270 plus 60? Yeah. How many Marnies have they played? Two. So they have two left. Single Strike Roar. What are they going to do? Okay, that's even more damage for more Moltres. Okay. Goodness. Just waiting. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Let's keep a load of damage on the Gengar. I mean, if he wakes up, then I can, like, ping this, I can ping damage here and then take a knockout with the Sableye as well. So. Yep. There's the VMAX. Like I said, this guy is, I mean. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And there we go. All right, there we go. All right, so we won. We had 3 0 with our wheezing deck. <laughs> uh, good game there. Good game there, Jeff. So, yeah, there we go. Went 3 0. I won a team challenge with, with wheezing. Very cool. All right. <sighs> And I guess I'm playing for Third Eye Games and Hobbies qualifier. Third Eye Games and Hobbies. I'm not sure where this is at, but it's in Maryland somewhere. So, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something new about Weezing. Have some fun. Uh, test the deck out. It's still really, really good. Hit that subscribe button. Alrighty. Bye. And go, go play team challenges. Go play them. Why not? You get a lot of. Why not? Go play them. You want a shaman mat? I just want a shaman mat today. Ah, I'm excited. Okay. Alrighty. Bye, guys.